Sorry, Mikel, after, after two um, such impressive performances, how do you explain uh, that game and that result? Uh, this is football and every game is completely different. First of all, congratulate uh, Villa for their performance and, and the win under such a pressure of fighting for relegation. And for us, it's been a very emotional and, uh, and physically demanding week. And uh, we tried everything. I think you cannot fault the effort of the players. But after giving a set-piece goal, after we needed to find ways to attack them better in the final thirds, and um, and we liked that creativity and and that final cross and and a spark. You've spoken before about the difficulties you have attacking a low block. How can you solve that with the players that are currently available to you? Because it does seem training in time, understanding the spaces where they are, how we can provoke them, and where we need. Uh, the bodies and the areas that we have to attack. And uh, and then a little bit in the first half, I felt that we didn't have the urgency with the ball to do it in the second half. It was much better. We controlled the transition as well better, but um, it wasn't enough. And, and just finally for me, um, a lot of people would argue that the perfect player for attacking that low block is, is Mesut Ozil. Do you not see a logic to having him in the squad for games like this? Well, we've played uh, other games as well, and the answer is not just a player, it's a collective patterns that have to happen. And uh, we did in certain ways really well, but the end product of the final ball wasn't um, good enough, and the last chance and the better chance that we had hit the post. But um, this is football. I can, I can keep going. Um, what, one final one. Your reaction to the plane and what message would you send to the, the fans that felt compelled to spend money to fly? That I have full support from the from the concrete, from the boards, for the sporting director, that uh, we are putting a very strong plan together to try to do as much as we can in the shortest period, because at the end of the day, the league table doesn't lie and we know the gap that we have to fill in and we are on board trying to do everything together. Do you, do you think the comments he made after the Liverpool game about the need to strengthen might have kind of made some fans think that the owners are standing in your way and stopping you from getting the players you want? I don't know, but it does the impression um, is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to emphasise, and I do it again, that we need to improve in many areas. The first was my responsibility to improve the team and individually everything and the mentality, of course, as well. And after that, we need certain areas that uh, we need to get better because um, the top teams in certain areas are better than us and we have to do that. And the uncertainty is the reality. We have uncertainty because the coronavirus hit everybody hard. We don't know we are finishing in Europe and there is uncertainty with a few players. So I try have to try to be honest and that's what I said. Mikel, it's, it's Rob Dorset at Sky. I mean... Clearly, the victories against Manchester City and Liverpool show just what quality you have in the side. Um, but I wonder if you've got the depth that you would like and whether this is actually a key transfer window for Arsenal to go forward yeah, here if you want to compete that, with the top six. That is one of the things. And the other thing is the specificity you need within that squad balance to, to do it consistently. You know, we've done it. Today we had a different challenge, completely different game, and we have to find a way to do that. You know, and uh, that will take time because at the end of the day, when you have that many points of margin with the top teams, it's for a reason, you know, and we know that reasons and we will try to put it right with a lot of work first and in the right moments with the plays that we need in order to do that. Does it show what a big transfer window this is for Arsenal coming up? You need you need players desperately. Oh, the, the big challenge is to, to keep to going that process that the players are still believing in what we are doing, improve them as much as we can and then tick it, you know, and make some really good decisions in certain areas that we need, and that's it. It's the first time in 24 years, 25 years, I think, that Arsenal have finished outside the top six. Um, now, clearly, you came halfway through the season, so that's, we, we can't lay that all at your door, but you'll know how much that hurts Arsenal fans, um, especially when they finish below Spurs again. Um, does it feel a long way off at the moment, challenging and, for the top six? And it has to hurt... And it has to, and we have to suffer because it's not good enough for this football club. And that's why we have to put it right. And we know the challenge that is really big. We are facing it and really excited about what we have ahead of us. And we need to transmit this enthusiasm and passion because um, there are going to be some up and downs. Unfortunately, 
and today is a down, but as well it's sometimes good to see the reality and then go again, you know, and move on and, and improve. And the cup final to come means you've still got a big, a big challenge and a big trophy and a big opportunity in this season. Absolutely, and I think a few weeks back uh, we would be happy to be in the position that where we are to have the opportunity to grab a trophy and go direct to Europe. Thank you. Mikel, sorry to interrupt, Nick Callow here. You said before about certainty and uncertainty. You cannot qualify for Europa League via the Premier League now. You have to win the FA Cup. Does that affect your approach for the final league game? No, no, no. We will try to prepare the game exactly the same way. Try to beat uh, Watford. We need to win it straight away. After that defeat, you need to win. You need to get that uh, momentum back on, confidence. Everybody has to feel ready for the final, so it won't be the case. Added pressure for the final, though? Yes, because after that disappointment, you have to leave the players and, and you want to play straight away as quick as possible. And the players were disappointed today. Again, I cannot fault their effort. I think they try and they try to the last minute really, really hard. But uh, yeah, it's been an emotional and physically demanding week. But even like that, we have to find ways to come here and, and win where you are so dominant. And <sighs> it's what it is. Yeah. Thanks, man. Okay, cheers. Just quickly, Mikel, I know you touched on Meza there. I think he's still the player who has created the most chances playing under you since you've taken over and he hasn't played you know, since lockdown. What does that say about the other creative players in, in the squad? And does it, are you not sort of hurting yourself by not, by not including them, at least in the squad? I don't know. I try to make the best decisions for the team and the club. But if he's your most creative player, is it, is it the best decision for the team? That's all the time what I'm going to try. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong, and sometimes I get it very wrong. So that's all the time I will try my best.